Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to do a video right now. It is uh, currently uh, five to two in the morning, but uh, quite clearly this club, oh God, are <laughs> determined to um, actually end me. In fact, what has happened tonight? I, well, I genuinely find mind-blowing. I've gone live again just because this is breaking news for that ass. William Saliba, if you don't know, is trending number one on Twitter. Uh, let me just switch you over here so you can see exactly what I can see. He is trending currently number one in the UK and not for the footballing reasons that we would love to be talking about. He is, of course, on loan currently to Nice uh, in Ligue 1 and has been picking up some plaudits for some... My hair is a mess. It's two in the morning. Please allow me. Uh, has been picking up plaudits for his uh, performances. He's beginning to develop, I think, a partnership with Todibo. Is that right? From Barcelona. Hopefully, anyway, things are going well. He's won a couple of Man of the Match awards, but he's trending uh, number one in the United Kingdom, and I'm a little bit worried about clicking this here. Um, ultimately, uh, we have to also say that you know, for the balance of the argument, and I know that the memes are going to be out in force. Uh, he has done some interviews recently where he said, and this is a quote, that he was judged on two and a half matches by Mikel Arteta. Um, it also says here that, you know, whilst he was on RMC Info Talk Sport, this radio show, um, that he did not fit into Arteta's plans for the season. Some people have been saying that he should maybe be a little bit more humble and should perhaps not be talking out. But uh, it, I only draw on that because I find it quite coincidental anyway, at least my the sceptic in me is saying the timing is sensational of this because tonight a video has been released um, where William Saliba himself is actually filming uh, a very, let's say, awkward situation um certainly an uncompromising one uh, and you know <laughs> willie saliba is you know to <sighs> God, i can't believe it i'm actually so blown away i can't believe it here is a player who we are expecting a lot of spent a lot of money on this kid they talked about him being the mbappe of center backs i've actually put my neck on the line for this kid uh, so it is uh, very unfortunate to tune into Twitter tonight and have people sending me this video, which has been leaked tonight, of William Saliba. Uh, I would presume on French international duty. He is in a room with a number of other people. And for, you know, sensible reasons, I'm not going to actually play the video, but I will just go... No, don't... Not, yeah, okay, that's perfect. There we go. Safe. Safe space. We're safe. We're okay, lads. We're okay. It's all right. It's all good. I'm quite old, clearly. Um, I'm, you know, I'm getting on a bit because, you know, call me old fashioned, but is this normal? Is this normal behavior? Like, is this what the dons are getting up to when the dons are coming round? Uh, um, I'm so confused. I'm genuinely, my mind is blown away. My head is gone. Is this what the dons are up to behind closed doors? <laughs> no, I'm not being funny, right? And I'm not, you know, I each, do what you want to do, lads. I love everybody, right? And I don't discriminate against anybody. Whatever you floats your boat, takes your fancy, flicks your switch, that's what it is, okay? But the Dons are in the same room doing... No, no, this is a madness, bro. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't understand this. Now, let me just say this. If this is what's going on behind closed doors, huh? what is going on when the cameras are off? Is this normal behavior? I don't understand it. This is the TikTok generation. But what worries me and what I find so frustrating is that so many people have put their neck on the line for this kid. And he is doing everything in his power right now to undo it. Undo all the hard work. 
undo any kind of chance that he's got of getting involved in Mikel Arteta's setup. And now look, um, he is a very talented kid. There's no question about that. I'd love to see him getting back involved in Arsenal, but you are finished online, bro. They are making memes. I thought Salah memes were bad. This is... This is not the kind of attention that we really want. And it's not going to do him any favours in terms of winning Mikel Arteta over. That much is for sure. Um, as I was saying, though, uh, lads, um, <sighs> head's gone. My head is actually hurting. My head is so hurting. It's pounding. My head is pounding. Do you know what the maddest thing is? Bro, you are too close. You're so close. You're, you're, you're in the line of fire. Oh, this is crazy. Imagine. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. Um. <sighs> Why? What is. What possessed you to want to put this on the internet? Seriously, what was going through your head when you said. I'm going to share this with the world. Yeah, the world needs to see this. Look at this madness. Um, <laughs> the memes are quite sensational. El Neni when he catches Saliba back at the Emirates. Um, I mean, what was that one? What Saliba sees when he walks into the changing rooms. Oh my god. <laughs> Lacazette trying to convince Saliba to terminate his loan to come to come back early to Arsenal. Oh god. Oh god. Oh hold me. Hold me. I'm weak. I'm weak. Oh. Oh this club. Oh god. Oh. oh, wow. Who's got the Twitter handle Saliba Season? Is that a Twitter handle? Saliba Season? Oh, so... F oh, Free Willow? Oh, you're fucking right, mate. It's free. Everything's free. It's all free. Free for everyone. Whip them out, yeah? Clearly. Saliba Season's in the mud right now. Bro. Oh, no, stop this. I've got to turn it off in case something dodgy happens. I can't risk that. <laughs> Listen, um, do what you like, you know? Everyone is free to do what they like. And I guess we're in the generation of filming dons. Filming dons. This is what, this is what dons are up to, isn't it? Filming everyone. Um, I mean, look, <laughs> call me old school, but... We've got to have a little word, mate. We've got to have a little word. Uh, Mikel Arteta. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uncompromising situations. How are we going to deal with this? And how does he make a comeback as an Arsenal player, realistically? Um, this is quite possibly the most difficult challenge that he will have faced yeah and he has as we have discussed already quite clearly already put himself in the line of fire ah oh wow oh wow well i nearly went to bed um you know having watched some good football it was uh, it's a great day and now i'm worried about the future of this kid um I was worried when he started making statements, um, if I'm honest. Interviews, he's been doing a couple of interviews where he's talked about Arteta and Arsenal. And I do wonder, as I said, that this isn't a little PR play uh, from the club to save face. And they may well be done with the player anyway, we just don't know. 
what we do know is that this isn't something that Arsenal need. The club are already in the mud already, and already in the mud already, and like my head is gone spinning. Oh, wow. <laughs> French fraudulence of the highest order. Um... I mean, look, man. It seems very coincidental, uh, the timing of the release of the video. Let's just say that. Um, is it biting your nose to spite your face? That is it kind of damaging ourselves, devaluing the player? Is he as marketable as he was before? Has he ever been trending number one before? I don't know. Maybe this is a good move. All news is good news, apparently. Um, but this is not what you want to see. We want to see top-class performances. We don't want to see flop-class performances. With your dons. The dons. Ah, oh, this is what the dons are up to. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh wow sensational scenes I'm, uh, it's 2 in the morning it is officially 2 in the morning not what I was thinking I was going to be here for um, Viral <laughs> uh, Viral Rajaguru says Rajaguru says uh, Willie Saliba having a nice indeed um, and Alexander Dixon says he called out Arteta in an interview hours ago and now this comes out tonight. It does seem strange. Um, the timing. Yeah, it really does. And this isn't... I don't think this is... You know... I don't think this can be misconstrued as being like homophobic or anything from anyone. This is not a normal video to release on the internet. Like, I'm sorry. It's to me... Like, and I'm open-minded, but I, I'm... Sorry, that's not a normal... Those aren't normal circumstances. What is going on in the French dressing rooms? What? What's going on here? Huh? Oh, wow. It's like an OnlyFans clip. If they got OnlyFans accounts. Like, not to view, but to... Oh, good God. <clears throat> um, a red card for that. Career ending tackle. Yes. Um it is it is to me it's just like how is this happening? What what circumstance what like series of events have taken place for these French international footballers to all have convened in a room and be having some kind of chicken seasoning session which they're happy or comfortable filming. He's Happy, he's smiling, filming this Don like it's some kind of comedic thing. Like, oh, <laughs> that's what? <laughs> huh? Listen, right? I don't, I don't, I don't condone anything, but you can't be doing certain stuff in front of the Dons, yeah? Or surely have some pride in yourself. It's like an episode of Geordie Shaw where the. It, all kinds of madness is going on. No, just no shame whatsoever. No respect for yourself. Huh? Bro, imagine if your friends, right, just... Hold on. Wait, no, hold on a second, lads. I thought we were coming around to play PlayStation. What? We're playing FIFA. What are you... What are you what's... No, 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 no. What's going on? Oh, no. Who's, who's, sorry, what? Circle jerk. Ah, oh, um, um, and, uh, you know, if you are on Snapchat for a start, why? <laughs> why? Um, I guess stuff like this is what's going on on Snap. This is why you don't catch me on Snapchat. You're not getting me on Snap TikTok. Ah, oh, stop it. I've got a TikTok account, yeah, just so I could get my name. That's it. Off. Locked off. Yeah? You think I'm getting involved in all this madness? Huh? So people can look at your um like what you've been looking at and all that, and you get tempted in by Ah, oh, stop it. Life is way too short, lads. Come on now. Come on now, bro. Especially when you've been given fantastic opportunities like this kid has. What are you doing, bro? 
even if you have any respect for yourself, surely you just step out of the room and say, oh, do you know what? <laughs> you do you lot, bro. No, I can't be partaking in this madness. This is what I say to myself, uh, have some integrity. If there's madness or fuckery or things you just don't trust or don't want to be involved in, step aside, remove yourself, maintain your pride, hold your head high and carry some integrity with you. Jesus. All it takes is to step up and walk out. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, oh, wow. Incredible scenes. Um, Shane Johnson says, what if he's just gay? Okay, that's absolutely fine. Be gay. No one's got any kind of, or I've got no issue with you being gay. But hold on a second. Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of gay footballers, right? Um, is this how you're announcing it to the world, firstly? Um, secondly, is that normal behavior, whether you're gay or not, to be like involved in... Like or even in the room or a recording, like what or like what? There's just so many questions. It's not. It's not. I'm 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 fucking dumb. I'm actually dumb. This club are gonna be the end of me. There is non-stop banter, and we do it to ourselves. The players even. Oh wow. I hope he hasn't blown it. I really do hope he hasn't blown it because we've yet to see him take part in a decent level of football for Arsenal Football Club. Um, what I should stress to everybody, just so that I can be impartial and show you that I am impartial, is that banter aside, it does look very odd, the timing of this leaked video. Uh, given over the past couple of days or even the week, a couple of interviews have been released whereby he has said some pretty untoward stuff about Arsenal and Arteta that won't have gone down well with the higher-ups at the club. That much is um, almost for sure. Um, we have got Thomas the TIE Fighter in the chat. He says, William Saliba, or Willie Saliba, and Moaning Guendouzi. What's with these young French players causing problems? Learn your place. Think they're entitled to play. Um, yeah, it's quite possible that he's blown it. And this is why I've done this video. It's not to banter, right? It is because right here, we've spent a hell of a lot of money on this kid. The best part of £100 million on him and Pepe. Obviously, Pepe is the majority of that, but look, a huge investment for the future. We were talking about, oh, he's going to be the, he could be our defender for the next 10 years. Huh? He hasn't played for 10 minutes, and he's he's been here for two years. And he might not come back because he's blown, he's blown it. Oh, well, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. That is bad. I'll I'll use other I'll use another thing. He's not blown it. <sighs> Fucking hell. Um <laughs> He's not blown it, has he? He's just having a look. He's just wondering what's going on. He's obviously amused because it is kind of funny what is going on. Yeah. Uh, and he feels he needs to share that with the world. He's doing interviews, Snapchats. Snapchats, right? Someone explained to me a Snapchat, you record it, does it disappear after a while? That's what Snapchat is, yeah? Because either either people follow. Is he tweeting that to everybody? I mean, is he Snapchatting that to everybody, or is it like he sent that to his friends and then someone's leaked it? What do we think? And and that's the other thing. What we need to do is the fraud gang. Yeah, who is the don who has got the the he has got the audacity? to sit in the middle of the dons and he thinks this is not hold on the only other situation that i can excuse that guy in the middle is say he's on his own in the hotel room they're away he's yeah, yeah it's locked down he's not seen the missus for three months it's oh it's getting a bit mad downstairs oh, he's got to do something i think i'll do that say this is all yeah and then all the dons have just barged in just, hey, what's going on ah! <clears throat> is that possible but Surely then you'd be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh no, 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 I was just, I was just, um, I've got a thigh, ah, oh, I've got a thigh strain, just my, ah, oh, I was just, what was I doing? Yeah, I was just scratching my leg, 
It's just scratching my leg, bro. No, come on, bro. It's just scratching my leg. I've got no pants on, but I was just scratching my leg, you know? What are you talking about? It's hanging out and I've got like mad stuff going on. No, nothing on the TV. What do you mean? No, that's not, I don't know what you're talking about. What? Oh my God. <laughs> is that possible? I don't think it is. Because this, this guy's relaxed. He is comfy. Huh? Everyone is just like kind of, oh no, I, uh, and uh, who is that? Is that a footballer? Oh, good God. Is this what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Lads, right? Um, I'm lucky enough to have grown up in an era whereby... <laughs> not everything was recorded. Uh, I actually feel blessed to have grown up in an era where not everything was recorded. Um, and I worry about the, let's say, actually, do you know what is actually serious? I worry about his mental state tonight because he'll get a lot of hate and that's not good. Um, Blue Facondor says his Arsenal career has barely started and now it's limping away. Made in Brooklyn 1975 says Saliba's recent criticism of Arteta and this video equals we will never see him in an Arsenal shirt on a pitch. Uh, Paul Cousins says Randall Colo is the guy. Oh. Is that the player in the picture, in the video, sorry. Oh, bro, are you serious? French footballer for nonce. Oh, my God. Oh, he's plays for nonce. Oh, wow. Oh, you could not write this. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. No, 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 no. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's, I'm sorry, bro. You know, you may well be young you know you may well need to relieve tension but you've just got to relax bro you've got to relax okay you've just got to relax bro you just got to hold it down you just got to hold it down come on now because oh this is going to follow you forever it's so sad this is why i was serious about the mental state of the players because oh, they're not thinking straight you're not thinking straight you're, sni you're self snitching self snitching yeah Oh, you can't delete this. <laughs> you can't delete this, bro. Uh, Joe Fla says, you think this ends Saliba's career, but R9 went through something similar and still dominated world football. Uh, the difference is, and I have actually, this is a little bit of a name drop, but I have actually met R9, and I do know the story that you're talking about. If anything, it is... Uh, in particular to do with him going home with uh, three people who he claims afterwards to have thought were women. Uh, it turned out they weren't, and he got quite a lot of stick for, um, you know, uh, doing whatever he did. <laughs> who knows what he did? It's up to him what he did. Um they threatened him, didn't they? And they demanded money. He's also kind of mocked in Brazil. I have to let you know that. Um, hopefully there's a Brazilian in the chat who can confirm that. But I've been to Brazil and I've spoken to enough people who said that, yeah. He's got this kind of stigma about him that he's a... You know, he's... Um, he's into his extracurricular activities, should we say. And, you know, that's cool. It's just... When you represent a football club or a country and you are recorded and you go viral for things that look questionable, it's his questionable behavior. Um, <laughs> well, you will catch a lot of stick. I'm ashamed of myself. Um, yes. Arsenal got the wrong center back, says MG. Could have got Fafana. Jester's Vengeance says, Hugh Izzy, I hope he hasn't blown it. Oh, mate. 
Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I should have thought about that. Um, Yusuf Al Alawad says, let's hope he doesn't have video of him blowing. <laughs> um, MC says, whiny little Salib. Ooh, strenuous, strong words. Thomas the Tie Fighter, uh, not happy with the French players at the club. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's a quick video on William Saliba. Um, I don't know. It's uh, yeah, it's disappointing to see that this is the reason that he is trending. Um, and Jared Martin says, I don't know why Arteta wants to get rid of him. I think Arsenal could use a ball-playing centre-back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it is 20 past 2 in the morning I'm going to go to bed I, I don't think I'm going to be able to go to bed tonight if I'm honest um, slightly scarred by what I've seen tonight um, yeah I will be scarred by this for a little moment if I'm honest because you know you put your heart and soul into these players and you really want to believe that they're the next best thing they're, they're living our dream you know the embodiment of our fantasy however our fantasies clearly don't align and you know his interests are <laughs> clearly more than football he's doing a lot of talking he's doing a lot of filming and that's my job William that's my job um, your job is to play football and just keep it humble you know keep it calm keep it humble keep those clean sheets coming the way you're moving the dons around you they got dirty sheets bro Make no mistake about it. They're using dirty socks and all those dirty things. So please, um, if I could give anyone a piece of advice, it's be careful of the company that you keep. It rubs off on you and it can drag you down. And if you see people doing stuff that you think is not going to do them any favors, then be a friend to them and say, do you know what? You got to do what you got to do, right? But I'm just going to let you know that I'm not sure that this is the one. Um, it's not looking good for William Saliba at Arsenal Football Club right now. His name, at least for now, is going to be associated with questionable moments. Um, made in Brooklyn, 1975, saying, Given rumours of Saliba's fragile mental state after losing his mother, one must wonder how he will deal with the harsh scrutiny after this incident. I'm not going to lie, I, I, I have said this a couple of times, but I worry about the mental state of the player now. I hope that he's got good people around him as well who can help him keep him slightly sheltered and protected from what is bound to be a barrage. He will get news, um, you know, messages uh, and some of them will be very unkind so it's all fun and games for the banter side of things and the memes will make themselves for the next god knows how long i'm not sure that he'll ever be able to escape this image but if he if he get <laughs> i was about to say if, oh god 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 oh god if he gets his head down and just focuses on the football then you know, he, he should be good. He should be good. But will he be good at Arsenal? I don't know. I really don't know. The um, the truth is that might well be a step too far for the club. Um, much love to everyone who's joined us tonight. It was a very impromptu one, this one, if only because I wasn't expecting to have to do a video on it. But Willie Saliba, by name and nature. Um, Abby Singh says, I don't get why this is a big deal. He can film pornos out of work if he wants. Blame the people who fixate on this nonsense instead of the player's performance. This is the news. This is how it works. And as an internationally, and as an international representative, as a player for a, as a club as big as Arsenal, who is, you know, been bought for that much money his every move is going to be scrutinized and these days make no mistake it's not just about the football you are a marketing commodity as a player and if we can't sell you uh, you are as good as nothing uh, never mind 
what's been going on the pitch, which clearly isn't good enough to the people that matter. And the people that make the decisions at the club have decided that either what he's doing behind closed doors is so off key that he needs to go and do it elsewhere and get his head down, or that he just isn't actually at the level that was previously thought or, you know, the level that he should be. Um, I just really do feel for like this Snapchat kind of generation who just are creating these kind of problems for themselves because they can't stop picking the phone up to record. Look, <laughs> I get it. Social media, it's great. It's great fun. I enjoy it. But ultimately, it can come back to bite you in the arse. And tonight, that's what's happened. William Saliba, caught in an uncompromising <laughs> video. Uh, I'll leave you to do the searching, but it is trending number one on Twitter. So I thought I'd bring you a quick update on the kids. A lot of people have been tweeting is every, you know, is every ball playing move, shall we say? Why did I do that? <laughs> is every ball playing move? He is a talented kid, but he's still got a lot of work to do, certainly in terms of decision making. For now, though, I am going to love you and leave you. Uh, sad times, unfortunate scenes, but we move. Uh, much love to everyone who's joined us. Um, if you could subscribe to the channel as well, that'd be fantastic. Drop the video a like if you appreciate the content and I will see you in the next one. Much love to everyone for tuning in. For now though, my name's been Hugh Rizzi and this has been a lot of fun. Peace. Well, that's an absolute lie, isn't it? I mean, fucking hell. Fraudulence, personified, mad. Only my club, do you know what I mean? Only my club. Who else is doing circle jerk videos at two in the morning going trending number one on Twitter for non-football reasons? Jesus. Unbelievable scenes of unglorious emotion. It's not bad enough that we're fucking 12th, is it? Or 11th or whatever. Yeah? Spend 30 million on the kid. He doesn't even fucking play football. Yeah, okay. What does he do? Wow, he's a good filmman, isn't he? Cameraman. Wow.